Ten times, and it still cracks me up. And I still see no humor in that at all. The, the timeliness of it, the look on Jim's face. Do you want to hello? Um, yes, I just wanted to tell Jim the photographer I'm going to put it in his rear like a knife through hot butter. Absolutely. Here is news for Sean Bolin. <laughs> it could be days before some North Dakota homes have electricity thanks to a spring blizzard. The storm has dumped heavy snows out in the upper plains and stiff winds. And the storm have snapped power lines as far south as here in Illinois. So the governor is a kind of concerned in a North Dakota, right? Yeah, it's it's rough up there. We have any do we have any sound from him? Yeah, I we just got this in uh, thanks to some of our uh, sources up in that section. Let me put that to the governor. Says. I'm a photographer. I'm gonna put it in his rear like a knife through hot butter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, that, that, that knife through hot butter that'll help the snow. Or, All right. Uh, All right. <laughs> Ray's over there acting like he's got a new toy now. It's so funny. <laughs> it's just funny. What you think is funny sometimes <laughs> just amazes me. <laughs> Uh, could the head of Catholics in Springfield become the head of Catholics in Chicago? Bishop Daniel Ryan of the Springfield Diocese could be tapped by Pope John Paul to replace Cardinal Joseph Bernadine in Chicago. Really? Yeah. Wow. I hope that'd be nice. Yeah. yeah. Ryan indicates that the Pope wants him. He'll accept the calling. Do we have a uh, quote from the Pope on this situation? <laughs> Oh, I'm, no. I can't for taking this. I'm a Catholic boy. I see this coming. Oh, come All right. Do yes. It. From Dog. the... Uh, Dog. 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 Yes, I just wanted to tell Jennifer <laughs> photographer I'm going to put it in his rear like a knife through hot butter. Okay. Oh, oh, I can't say it coming out of the Vatican press office, but hey. Yeah. Hey, kids, what time is it? The alarm clock screams and there's a cat butt in my face I don't want to get up, face the human race I take a shower, I take a pee I drink some coffee, watch some TV But nothing seems to keep my eyes open Nothing seems to get my blood flowing I called up a friend of mine And asked what lights a fire under your behind He says he spells relief Only one Friends' advice to heart. I bought myself FM radio. Now every weekday starts with a visit from the morning disaster show. And now I spell relief. R E Y L Y T L E. It's Ray Lytle's Morning Disaster. How you guys doing? We're here. Well, I, I'm here. Doran's here. Nikki's here. Congratulations, Nikki, on uh, working again. Yeah. On, on becoming part of uh, society again. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Doran, of course, is uh, here as well. No Nick today. Or at least he said he was going to call later, right? At least I thought he did, but no Nick on uh, uh, camera today because he's on vacation. So I put the notice out there to uh, anyone. I said, if any, oh, I guess Nick's, call I guess Nick's calling now. 
What's up, everyone? Hey, what's going on, brother? How are you? I am just got some McDonald's for the family. Oh. <laughs> so you are, are you, you're getting ready to drive now, right? We are on the road. You're on the road now. Congratulations. We're heading towards Rockford right now. Well, it is. It is. Uh, I'm surprised. I was. I was just. I was just telling everybody how you weren't going to be on the show. This is wonderful that you're actually joining us. I'm committed. Yeah. I to mean, the entertainment if or everyone else. If your phone would have run out of minutes, you would have known like in advance. And uh, yes, and I would have prepared for that. Oh, so you're saying that you would not let? There's your, no preparing for it. You would have. You would have. Put, you would have put more minutes on the phone before it ran out, is what you're saying. Yes, correct. Not when you don't have any money. Mm. Or you would have notified Ray so he could maybe Venmo you a little bit, is what you're saying. Yeah, something along those lines. Mm. <laughs> right? Nikki, you're not going to live it down, hon. Sorry. Yeah. I know. You would have called Ray. He knows this happens every month. Or maybe, or maybe called Doran or somebody who's... You know, you'd have called somebody. I call anybody. So that somebody can Venmo you the twenty bucks or whatever it takes to put to get your phone charged. But Ray, I don't have know. minutes on my phone. I can't call anybody. Mm. I can't Venmo. Or have? figure out how to connect to the Wi-Fi. Yeah. And then call through that way. Like Nick said yesterday, get on Google Voice and get a free number, and then just call in that way. Oh, that was just too much shit to do or that early in the morning. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh. It's unbelievable. You really are. You really are something. Well, I'm glad you're here today. Yeah. Thank you. We missed you yesterday. By the way, J J Jamie wants to know, are you, just, are you looking at the chat room door? I, I don't even know where my phone is oh. right now. Hang Jamie on. wants no, to but... know, how, how does Doran look today? She's not on, she's not on camera. I'm working yeah, on it. Yeah. I don't know where my phone is. Uh, oh shit! I haven't seen there her yet, go. Jamie. You know what he? You know what he wants to know. If you're what is that? <laughs> if I look like regret again? <laughs> Bad decision. <laughs> A night at his house. Yeah. He wants to know if you if you're a hot mess. <laughs> I'm better today. <laughs> you're right. He did say that yesterday. <laughs> you look like regret. Yeah, you look like pretty, regret. That was pretty. You know, Jamie's going to be on the show with us Friday. I know it. Yeah, he'll be on cam and on the show with us Friday. Oh, he said that. It is true. That. Yesterday he said Doran looked like regret, which was pretty insulting. <laughs> oh my God. I put the I put the, the the cry out there today. I said, Hey, if anybody wants to go on cam with us today is the day. And no responses. Uh -oh. no, nobody responded yet. So well, because the criticism is harsh. Yeah. <laughs> That's why. You, if you do go on, you have to prepare for listener, uh, listeners like Jamie to give you a bunch of hell. So you look. Well, like, we say it with love. Yeah, they say you look like regret, <laughs> and so on and so forth. Oh my God, I love this show. I love the. I love this show so much. Oh my <laughs> God. Oh. Uh, Nick, how about that phone call? Yeah, Nick and I were talking to each other yesterday. I don't. That was fantastic news. Yeah, I don't even want to pretend uh, to to. I don't even want to pretend to say what it was about. But Nick and I had a phone call yesterday. It was fantastic. Um, <laughs> I'll 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 do it. I'll fill you and Nikki in later today. I have a new. All right. Yeah, but it was it was so it's something very cool. That's all I'll say. I don't want to say anything else, except uh, could be very cool. That's all. We'll leave it out there. <laughs> um, my daughter finally got uh, her car yesterday. I saw that. I saw that. We've been trying. Very nice. We've been trying to get her a car forever, and uh, we were finally able to get one yesterday. And I want to thank, I want to thank Mark Underwood and everybody over at Friendly Chevrolet. You know, I bought a lot of cars in the last uh, since I've lived in Springfield, which has been. Since 96, so 20 some odd years. Um, and uh, I bought them from you name it, from everywhere. But I've never bought one from Friendly Chevrolet before until uh, I went in this time. And I'm telling you, it, it was 
uh, and and I'm this is not a paid advertisement by any stretch of the imagination. It was a wonderful experience um, getting the car through them. They took care of they took care of me and my wife. However, I just uh, a little advice. It wasn't taking care of us that did it. It was the fact that Mark Underwood, the guy, the sales guy who who's the one who uh, we dealt with, he talked to my daughter. I mean, th there you go. That's exactly what happened. Um, he treated my daughter like an adult because she is. She's an 18 year old sure. kid, and he knew it was important that she it was she was buying the car for her. I, I certainly wasn't going to drive it. She was the customer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so many, and we had, we had been everywhere looking for a car and everybody was trying to sell to me or trying to sell to my wife. It didn't matter what we, I mean, we were buying the car for my daughter. You needed to sell to her. And he was the one who treated her like a person and, uh, and with respect and then took every consideration that, that, that we threw and, uh, and covered it and took care of it. And uh, it was awesome. So I just I wanted I wanted to give a thank you. Um, I've I've had a lot of friends in that industry, and uh, uh, and but I've never I haven't used uh, friendly, and uh, they I did it this time I used them, and they were fantastic. And I'm very okay, happy. Well, we I the hate car. buying a car. You I know, just hate it. It's so stressful. We went Doran, this time. We went literally, you name it. We went there and. This time, it was a pleasurable experience. It was really nice. It was, well, at least we went there. It was really, it actually wasn't that bad, but you're right. Usually it's a mess. When you <laughs> and they buy, keep you there yeah, forever. When you buy cars, it's usually a mess. And this time, uh, this time it was awesome. So mm. I wanted to start the show by thanking Mark because uh, it just showed respect to my daughter and, and uh, got her the card that she wanted. My wife and I didn't even know what she wanted. We thought she wanted, really? a, we thought she wanted a completely different car. Really? Yeah. And uh, he was the one who found out what she wanted and then said, well, here, I, you know, here's the, uh, the choices. So it was pretty cool. But she has a new car now. So look at that. Her car might good deal. Good for her. Her car might be nicer than mine. <laughs> anyway. uh, she she could drive Nick's family to uh, wherever the hell they're going. I dare. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is anybody else taking? Are you the only one taking vacation, Nick? Or is anybody? Is anybody? Dorney going? No, my, I got my wife here and. I got my no, no, I little meant, one and my oldest. No, I meant on the show. Is anybody else taking oh. vacation? Dorn, Nikki, you guys going on vacation anywhere? Oh, uh, no. Not I'm going to be in quarantine. quarantine. You're in quarantine again? Why? I have a procedure next Tuesday. I won't oh. be on the show. Um, they have to do a COVID test, and then I got to be in quarantine. Is it another uh, fecal uh, thing? Yeah, it's a, it's a fecal transplant. That's exactly what it is, right? <laughs> well, we learned from Doran that you could get it through. Yes. By the way, did you see the did you see the shirt that Terry made? Oh my God! Yes. yes. You could catch yes. you could catch the COVID through your butt. <laughs> oh my God! Those shirts are fantastic. Oh, they're hilarious! Hilarious. Uh, yeah. So. I've been I, as soon as I get those, I try to put them up on the on the Facebook page, on the Morning Disaster Facebook page, so uh, people can you know, so people can see them as soon as possible. Anyway, but yeah, so uh, things have been. I mean, it's it's. Uh, I'm in a good mood today, except the rain well, yesterday good. was the rain yesterday sucked, but there's no rain today, which was nice. Yeah, I had, um, was it like four, four and a half inches in the rain gauge? That's what I wound up getting yesterday, between last night and yesterday. It was a lot. Yeah, four, that, that, that's nothing wrong with four and a half. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just some minor flooding. <laughs> yeah. I, I tell you, I, I was up, I woke up at six o'clock. Dora and I sort of felt like you. I woke up at six o'clock today and I, was, I just wasn't tired anymore. 
yeah, it just, it was weird. Today was a different story though, but um, the difference between today and yesterday is that I ate something. Because I tried to do that whole fasting thing that you do. Yeah. I can't do it. My sugars get all whacked out and I get loopy and yeah. apparently I swear a lot. And yes. I need I think to eat. Then you should do that more often. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know, here's the deal. I I was weighing four hundred pounds plus when I started doing it. Uh you're like a hundred and twenty or whatever the hell you are, but you know what I mean? Um uh, I, forgive me, if, forgive me if I guessed over or if I guess. That was under. way under, but thank uh, you. <laughs> but, but I'm just saying, I, I don't, I don't know what you weigh. But I'm saying, it, it depends on what you start at is, is how fasting will affect you. Like, like mm. I said, I, I can fast for 20 hours a day. I'm a big, big guy. That's something you should never be doing. Um, you know. I know. I had dinner the night before, and um, so I went probably about. 14 hours without eating something. Normally, it doesn't bother me, but yesterday was a different story. I will quote uh, Jamie when I say, and Jamie, forgive me if I quote this wrong, but you look like regret, honey. <laughs> <laughs> However the hell he put it yesterday. Oh. Uh, I am looking forward to Friday. Good yeah, Lord. it's going to be fun. Nick, you got the whole family is loaded up. You guys are in the are, yep. you, are you like the Beverly Hillbillies? Is Granny sitting in the uh... No, no. It's there's four out of five of us going on this trip right now. And you guys are going up why do I think it's Minnes it's not Minnesota, is it? But that's what I think. Yeah, it's Minnesota. Oh, you are go oh, I thought it was Minneapolis area. Yeah, it's in that area, yeah. So the, and that's where you're going. Wow. Yep. How's the COVID up there? <laughs> it's about the same as in Illinois. Oh, that's not bad. Well, that's not terrible. Yeah. So that means They've it's dropping. Pretty well. Yeah. It's not like uh, Texas or Florida. No. Good Lord. I was. I tried to call my brother-in-law yesterday. Yeah, how is he? Do you know? I didn't talk to him. He wasn't answering the phone. I had left messages. But his name oh, is boy. Ken. His name is Ken, so I was calling him COVID Ken. <laughs> He might, oh, he, not, he might not have found the humor in my... Probably do I, I see a t-shirt in his Christmas future. <laughs> he might not have found the humor in my calling him COVID Ken. But, Probably uh, not. Yeah. Uh, happy birthday to my mother-in-law, who's turning... She, she's actually turning... I think she's turning 80... Really? But she she looks literally she looks uh it is she looks you know 25 30 years younger you know what i mean she looks she looks great for 80 she really does well that's fantastic well yeah. that's going to say a lot about your wife too exactly you know? that's one of the reasons i married my wife i mean <laughs> cuz your mother-in-law is good looking <laughs> well what but you know i think listen for for guys i just i want to say this is general for guys uh when you uh you know you, you, when you marry someone, when you, when you spend your life with someone, when they get older, if you want to know how they're going to, if they're going to age early or how soon they'll go to hell, because we all, we're all human. We, we all go to, we all go to hell eventually. We all end up looking like hell at some point in our life. But if you want to know if they're going to be one of those early bloomers or a late bloomer, you look at the mom. And, uh, you know, like my wife looks, I mean, Dorn, you see my wife all the time. She gorgeous. looks, she looks yeah, young. Yeah. Yeah. Very she's, young. she's beautiful. And she, she does not look her age. Um, you know, and that's, that's why you look at the mom and her mom. When I first met her mom, she was very mean to me. Oh dear. She did not <laughs> like me. <laughs> she say? Oh, she, uh, honest to God, true story. Okay. When I met my wife's parents, or when I, um, when we were leaving, because not long after I met my wife, I convinced her to move to Illinois with me from Texas. Oh dear! And her parents were not that happy about it. I mean, they were freaked out. And now that I have a daughter of my own, I could not imagine. <laughs> now you get it. <laughs> what was going through their heads? But her mom, when we were moving out her furniture from her house 
to go with us to Illinois. Her mom said, I'm going to go find our gun and I'm going to shoot myself. I'm going to find what? the gun and I'm going to shoot myself. Oh, for God. She sakes. talked about she was going to get the gun from their house. Oh, that's just a horrible thing to say. <laughs> that's just awful. I'm just so it's so it's a strong relationship yeah. now, right? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, when we first when we when I first uh moved in with my wife and we moved to Illinois, uh, my mother-in-law did not like me. But through the years, I'll tell you, through the years, she's gotten to like me. Well, and, you're very likable. Right? Yeah, and she's like, and I think she's told my daughter, you married a really good guy, you know. I think she probably still says, you could have done better, but you married a really <laughs> good guy. That, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know. I haven't heard it, you know. I haven't uh, heard that specifically, but I'm pretty sure that conversation goes on. Uh, but the, one of the reasons that I married my uh, wife is because her mom, even though her mom was mean and wasn't that nice to me, I could still, I could still look at her and say, well, I know how old this woman is. You know how good she still looks. And so, yeah. she, she doesn't look her age. So I know that my wife will also age well. You know, like a fine wine. You know, and and my wife and I are brown people, and brown does age well. I just want to. Oh. I just yeah. want to say, some of you white people out there who are afraid of dating us brownies, <laughs> we age well. Oh. I don't. I don't look my age. I mean, look at the no, camera. I don't. Not. Right. Look at the, look at the camera, everybody. Look at the camera. If you're if you're on Facebook watching. It's a 52-year-old man. Do I look 52? Definitely not. No, and partly because I'm fat. <laughs> but if my hair was if my hair was still black instead of right. And I'm sort of <laughs> I sort of hide the gray during the show. But if I wasn't getting as gray, you would have no idea how old I am. I this think that, I think that's true. I could just be um you know, this could just be in my my brain. My illusion, I, but I think I look. I mean, Nick, he's, he's honest with me. Nick, I don't look my age, right? No. Yeah. Oh God! If you want honesty, ask Jamie. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Ass. Telling everybody I weigh 195 pounds. Bullshit. <laughs> you bitch. You know better. Is, is Jamie still in the chat room? Oh, I don't know. He was. <laughs> if Jamie, if you're still in the chat room. Do I look my age? I don't know because uh, I think this is right around the time he least I thought he said well, he Well, I'm has sure to start you don't look like whatever. regret. <laughs> or whatever he claims. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, uh, but that's one of the reasons that my wife is because her mom looks younger. So I want to take a second to say happy birthday to my mother in law. Although, happy I'm birthday. pretty sure she doesn't, I'm pretty sure she doesn't listen to the show, but just in case. No, uh oh, he is in there. Oh, Jamie. <laughs> Jamie, I He's don't. still in there. Do I look my age or do I look younger than my age? <laughs> Be careful. Be very careful. Oh, Ray. he says I look sad. How dare you? How <laughs> dare you? I told you. Uh, <laughs> what a horrible person. <laughs> Careful. Yeah. He's in the chat room saying that I look older than I am. Well, how dare you? <laughs> That's all I'll say. Uh, Nikki, congratulations on being back on the show. Yeah. After, after missing yesterday. I know you missed me. We did miss you. We did. We, yeah, we missed you. We did. It wasn't the same. Once I found out the phone wasn't working, I went back to bed. Well, of course you did. It, it, which is what I predicted. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what I predicted. I said mm -hmm. on the air, I go, she went back to bed. Oh, yeah. Because there was a second you, uh -huh. went, into, you went into the chat room. Uh -huh. And uh, people were saying, oh, she's still there. And I said, no, she isn't. She, trust me, the second the phone wasn't working, she went back to bed. 
<laughs> I just, I knew it. By the way, Kathy, I did go in the chat room for a second, but the phone didn't work. By the way, Kathy is saying her daughter from St. Louis is watching today with us. Well, hello to uh, Kathy's daughter, Allison. Hey, Allison. Welcome to the program. I'm 30. I am I am the very uh, handsome 38 year old Ray Life. Welcoming you to the program. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Listener Jeff is saying that Doran was cussing like a drunken sailor. She did start. That's what I heard. Yeah, she started <laughs> the show the off. Room. She started the show off. She was cussing a lot. It's, it, she sounded like she was on About something. About the rain. I, I can't tell you. Doran, I, we didn't talk yesterday, but. How many people were sending me instant messages during the show going, is she drunk? <laughs> is, she, is she mixing vodka with her uh, orange juice? I didn't juice? have any coffee. That was a lot of the problem, too. I was having some withdrawals, caffeine withdrawals, and I hadn't eaten for 14 hours, and I was just a mess. We'll never get on Radio uh. Disney with that kind of language. <laughs> <laughs> so much for the good news. Yep, so much <laughs> So much. Sorry, I didn't mean to spill the beans. The Radio Disney deal has blown up. Uh, <laughs> Allison says that her mother's been telling her how great the show is, so uh, she figured she'd listen. Well, Allison, I hope that we are not upsetting. I hope that we somehow. <laughs> thank God it's and not. It's, and if we are, too bad. Thank God it's not yesterday. <laughs> Because if it was yesterday, if it was yesterday, you would be gone already. I'm convinced. Already. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, oh yeah, the best part of yesterday's show. Can I? Mm -hmm. Nikki, you got to hear this. No, I had to. Uh, so I, Nick and I are, are talking. Nick, Nick and I were chatting yesterday during the show, and <laughs> Doran is sort of looking off, and then she gets up. And then she starts, she, gets bored. she starts walking in her house with her computer, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we're just broadcasting. I can't remember what we were talking about at the time. You were burying oh, your heart. I was burying my heart. Yes. I, was, I was telling my story of what it's like to be American. And uh, I was talking, it was, it was sort of serious. I was talking about, I'm a brown-skinned guy. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a Mexican guy. But my father's side of the family, the Lytle side, has been in this country for, you know, a couple hundred years, you know, uh, for since the 1600s. So I guess it's been a few hundred years. And uh, so I'm telling the story, but I'm saying that too many people, when I was doing talk radio, I would constantly get people saying, go back to your country. It's like, I was born, I, like, there is no other country. I was born here. So I'm telling this really touching story. I'm trying to make a point. Thorne gets up. She starts walking around her house. Now I watch this later after I watch the video of the show. <laughs> and then she goes into the bathroom and puts the computer down. By the way, I don't know how you, I thank mm -hmm. God you didn't put it on yourself, but I don't, know, I don't know how you do that. Do you face it the other way or? I just set it up on the, on the, counter and just had it oh. facing it was dark in there i didn't turn the light on yeah i do have some tooth <laughs> and then she sits down and you hear her urinating <laughs> in, the, in the middle of my very serious tale <laughs> so she did what you accused me of doing before and by the way and by the way nick I could tell you knew what was going on. <laughs> Upon listening to the replay, it's I obvious. Didn't, I didn't. I didn't know that that was going on. I thought you just had had to go. I thought she was in her living room. I don't pee in my living room. <laughs> when I was listen, I'm not going. I'm not going to judge where you pee. <laughs> to each his own. What you do in your house is your business. <laughs> Oh my gosh! And I, so I'm telling this serious story. This, uh, you know, to me, you know, what is serious? And meanwhile, she's whizzing right there on camera. It was, it was <laughs> insane. And then she just picks up like nothing, 
and starts going on. And then finally, when I figured when I figured it out, I brought it up. But it was crazy. <laughs> this is my question is, and I I didn't watch the video back. Was was hands washed afterwards? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can hear the water run. I rewatched it. Yeah. She just. She yeah, just it's hilarious. She just put no, the well, hand. The thing, she just though, put the well, hand down. I peace, peace, Daryl. I didn't want to miss what you were saying. Yeah. And when I have my Zoom on, I have a hard time getting back to to mute myself. So I thought, well, hell, I don't want to miss what you're saying. So I just took you with me. <laughs> now, if I would have like you know unplugged and walked away, you would have been pissed off because I'm like, oh, I was just telling this heartfelt story, and you missed it. You walked away, and you don't care. And so I, I, I know, I know this about you. So I just took you with me. Oh my God, you're so funny. Well, that's exactly right. Summer says that she didn't want to miss the story. I did not want to miss the story. See. Well, I'm actually, I actually uh, take some solace in that. And, uh, well, good. Uh, I'm glad to know that that's why. All right. So it, it sort of makes sense now. Okay, well, good. That you took a pee in the middle of my heartfelt story. <laughs> and to put it into context, too, you got to imagine that our listeners, at least one of them was doing the same thing. Right. <laughs> least, you're right. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Because I got to say, since since we got the app, I don't know if I told you this yesterday or not, Nick, but since we got the app, the people who listen to the show only, you know, like there is different ways to get the show. You can listen to it on the app or on your desktop or whatever you have, uh, or you could watch it on Facebook Live or you could watch it on YouTube later on the day. And some people just go to Alexa and go, Alexa, play Morning Disaster Network because you can listen that way as well. But the amount, and I, I'm, I'm just blaming the app just because that's the newest thing. But the amount of people just listening has grown this week. That's fantastic. And the only difference that I know of is the app is now available in the Google Play Store. That's a good problem to have. And, uh, yeah, it, for now, but eventually what's going to happen is the numbers – I have a feeling when we get the iPhone app out, it'll require buying more uh, bandwidth. But that's, that's still, it's not a horrible problem. But yeah, uh, It's a good problem to have. Like yeah. So it, the amount, the number of listeners has gone up you know, uh, on the audio only stream. So that was kind of cool. But for the people that watch the show on Facebook, uh, that's all bandwidth is cool because Facebook pays for it. So I, but I, so I don't, uh, you know, that's never a big deal. So by all means, come over and watch it on Facebook. Uh, Cause people said, what's the preference? Well, to be honest, um, to be honest, a Facebook pays for the bandwidth. So, I mean, I guess if I had a choice, it would probably be that, but yet I'm just glad anybody listens to us or anyone is interested in what we have to say or, you know, any of that stuff. So I thank you all nonetheless. I'm sorry that Doran pees on camera. <laughs> I had to Some go. places make you pay extra yeah. for that. <laughs> <laughs> You're, right. You're right. We give it away for free. Yeah. Oh. oh, God. That's right. Some people make you... You know, you got to give a tip for that at least. Oh, I'm sorry, Pete. Pete's saying I just activated his Alexa. I'm sorry, Pete. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't mean to activate. I was just giving oh, an example. Oh, hilarious. Of how it works. Oh, crap. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, and then the other thing is uh, just. Alexa, like add extra large tampons to the shopping list. <laughs> <laughs> oh Nick. Uh and I just I want to say um knowing that this will anger some people, but I've been trying to say it every day for the last uh week or so, but um it's uh eight thirty no. uh, it's eight thirty five. Wear a fucking mask. Okay. There you go. <sighs> that that Alexa joke just backfired because my uh my kids uh 
fire tablet just added extra large tear pods to my job. Oh. So I'm going to be getting a text message here in about 30 minutes saying, Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, that's hysterical. So I heard that uh, that Europe has like pretty much banned all travel because we can't behave ourselves. Yeah. They won't allow any Americans in Europe. They're, yeah, they won't allow Amer- The thing is, listen, and I, it's a certain type of person that won't wear the mask. It's not all of us. And the certain type of person are not the world travelers of this country. There's a reason it's spiking in Florida and Texas and places like that. Because there's a lot of these types of people, the non-mask wearers, that live in those states. They follow their leader. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just... That, that's Those people are also not big world travelers, uh, you know, wanting to go see the sights in Italy. <laughs> that's not... You know, so I, I know that they're banning us, but they refer to the Leaning Tower of Pizza. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> so they're they're welcome to ban us. They are welcome to ban us. However, uh, the people that they're banning are not the people that are wanting to go see the sights in the Gay Paris anyway. So that's all I want to say. I don't blame them for ban for doing it though, because. <sighs> It's just as a precautionary measure. I mean, against. I mean, look, as you look at our our country as a whole, it's it's rising in areas. It's yeah. not being squashed, and they're just protecting their people. I don't blame them. I don't blame them at all. And uh, in, in our chat room, so he's an idiot GOP NRA loonies. I, I got to be honest. It's it's not, it's not NRA guy. It, there's people out there, who, you know, hunting with guns and they're wearing a mask, or you know what I mean. It's not. In this, it's not the NRA guys. It's just no, a certain. It's, not. it's a certain type of person that just. It's a smaller subset. Yeah, they just don't care, <laughs> and they've they've uh, they've got a whole narrative of of uh, it doesn't matter if anyone else gets sick. That's the scary part, and like like Nikki said, they're like, my leader doesn't wear one, so why should I? And I, and I just think it's scary. So just. Just wear a mask. Just wear one. It won't. I mean, I have a brother-in-law right now who's suffering from COVID, and he's uh he's delirious. By the way, he uh-huh. was yeah he's he was texting my wife and her mother, and he's texting all this crazy stuff. You're probably scaring the hell out of your mother-in-law. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She. It is. It scared oh, her. She's death. horrified. Uh, it, it's crazy. Oh. He and his son and and his ex-wife and uh, anyone. All these people he's texting. He's scary because he doesn't make any sense. He's imagining things that have happened. Is it like from the fever, or is it from the meds he's on, or didn't what? Andrew Cuomo say something about that when he had it? It's, that he was pretty loopy. Yeah, it was Chris Cuomo said that. Yeah, Chris Cuomo. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, and so that's what my brother-in-law is getting. He can't smell anything. So, um, I guess his house. He's got a cat, and he hasn't changed the litter or anything. Oh. <laughs> so I. So I heard that it smells horrible, but he can't smell it. Oof. So he thinks you know. He thinks everything's fine. But yet he was telling them, he goes, uh, because he was in the, um, he was in the hospital, all right? But then uh, all the hospitals started filling up in Texas. And now all the rooms, he's in Corpus Christi, and now all the uh, rooms with ventilators and stuff, they're packed. So they started sending people, like my brother-in-law, home. Once they got the fever under control, they sent him home. And then they have a specific set of things you're supposed to do. If anything starts happening, you've got to call them again so they come get you in the ambulance and take you back or, or you know what I mean. 
so they can check you in again, so they can put them up in some sort of uh, temporary whatever hospitals because so it's he, so bad. So he wasn't bad enough to be put on a bench or anything well, like that. His, so his, they just prepped him and sent him yeah, home just his to make fever, room for other people? His fever went up, yeah, his fever went up to like 104. Yeah, that's dangerous. And, yeah, so adult. they had they had to get that under control. But his lungs, his lungs are, are filled, but he's, he's able to breathe. He's coughing a lot, but he's still able to breathe. So they sent him home, and they just said, "Stay away from everybody, and uh, and watch for these signs." By the way, all the signs are happening. <laughs> but while he's home, he's uh, he started uh, seeing things that aren't happening. So he lives alone. Yeah, he does. He lives alone. Oh, that's sad. But is he gonna check in on him? Well, I mean, or can they? No, you can't. Like my mother-in-law has uh, brought him by some food and stuff, but she can't go in the house. Oh my God, that's heartbreaking. She's she's eighty years old. They don't want her going to the house around somebody with COVID. Now, was he kind of the, was he the type of personality that would not wear a mask or? Yeah. yeah. He he wouldn't wear one. Yeah. Oh dear. And uh, you know now he's got it, but he's. He's remembering, he's like, I was at the hospital again today, and they know he wasn't at the hospital. So he's just remembering things that didn't like, happen? When I, was, just... when I was there today, they said blah, 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 and it's not true. So he's oh, wow. delirious, and he's remembering things. That, so my mother-in-law, uh, you know, she, she called for a wellness check, you know what I mean, to make sure that, and they told her, they said, he's got to agree to go because they – they came by and tried to take him to the hospital and he refused and he would, he said no. And so they couldn't, you, oh, you can't take him. So, oh, boy. so yeah, it's a, it's nuts. It's horrible. It's Be so sad. And in his mind in his, and he says, no, I was just there. And they're like, you weren't just there. You know, you, you need to go. So yeah, I just, I feel bad for him. So that's why I called him yesterday and, he never returned my call, but. Uh, well, maybe try him again today. Yeah, I, we, I mean, we I hope. Would. Hopefully those are, I, I'm just wondering if his fever hasn't come back. Yeah, that would well, also a cause, high fever will make you very leaky yeah. too. Is that what you had yesterday? What? Is that what you had yesterday? A high fever. High fever. <laughs> no. High fever and regret. <laughs> a high fever and regret will make you sound a little Yeah, too. high fever and regret, no. So Nikki. <laughs> Nikki, you're going to go in for a procedure on Tuesday? Yeah, they're going to, I'm going to the EMT and they have to scope me. What are they looking for? I have a growth in my throat. Oh, dear God. Yeah. Are you sure it's, you sure it's not like a milk dot or something that's stuck? What, what, are you, what is going you're on? You're funny. <laughs> oh, wait. Are they going to biopsy it or? They might. Take How did they find it? Um, two years ago, they found it, and they're looking at it again to see if it's grown any. Why can't they just take it out? I don't know. They don't know. It's a different EMT because the one that found it was in Bloomington. Oh. I lived up there. So and now, it took almost two years to get completely all the information down here. Jason, oh, for God. It was ridiculous. Jason has a, a question. Yeah. Jason has a question about your growth. No, I don't know if it's rock hard <laughs> or soft. Is it, are, you, are you rock hard? He wanted to know if your growth is rock hard. So you're saying it is. I know. Are you rock hard? Most of them are. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Nikki. So I don't even know if they do, if they biopsy it. I don't know what happens at that point. Well, they, they sent it to the lab. I know, but if I'll be able to talk, okay. Yeah, yeah, you'll be fine. Unless it's, a sore throat, unless it's but... on, is it on your um, vocal cords? It's right before it goes into my esophagus. Yeah, okay, you're fine then. It's not on your vocal cords, though, so you'll be fine. I don't think so. Yeah, you would, if it's, that's when, trust me, I've had nodules surgery before when they remove them from your vocal cords that's when it's that's when it affects your talking 
Oh, you did have that done. Yeah. That's been a while ago. It's like in 99 because, or 2000 yeah. I got that done. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it was crazy. When they first found it, they sent me to pulmonary, and pulmonary said, that's not our job. Well, yeah, the pulmonary but... <laughs> sent me back to my regular doctor. So you're it's saying, been like a two-year ordeal. You're saying the growth is between your uh, your mouth and your lungs. So they're fighting over somewhere. So you're they're fighting over. Yeah, whose they're job fighting over whose territory it's it is. It's not my job to remove that. I'm the lung lung doctor. Well, it's practically in the lungs. Right. It's not there. I'm not touching that dirty thing. So we're kind of starting over with a new ENT. So yeah, that's whose job it would be. It'd be an ear, nose, and throat guy would be or a girl. Yeah, it'd be their job to take it out. Right. Mm. And I hear it's large, so. Well, do you have trouble swallowing? They said I was that they were surprised that I didn't have problems swallowing. Mm. Yeah, because from what I hear, you don't. I don't feel it. They thought I would be able to feel it, but I don't feel it. I heard from Chabalette, you have no problem swallowing. Oh, gross. Ew. I just said, he went to breakfast with her. Oh. Said they were, they, they, she was fine. She didn't have any problems. No, but you don't have. You're so gross. <laughs> You don't have any problems. So, you know, they'll know. It, it's not, it, it would, it would, it would be affecting your voice now. Maybe it is, and I don't know. No, you, maybe I sound completely different. Are you, are you rock hard? Maybe that's why you got that little growl, that little growl, you know. I don't have that. That's you. Because <laughs> she talks like this. It's Nikki. I am Nikki. No, I do not. Hi, I'm Nikki. Want to taste? Oh. Uh, you rock hard. Mm. You want to make some pancakes? <laughs> I, have, I have no idea what that means. I don't know what's sexy about that. You want to make, make, make some pancake batter? I don't know what that means. I have no idea. So I imagine they'll just go in and, and snip a little bit, snip it, do a biopsy. Yeah. Yeah. They called this morning before the show, so that's why I didn't get on until like right at eight. Well, at least you. And that's when they told me I had to go get the COVID. Uh, and then, uh, so you're gonna get the test, and then they'll do the procedure Tuesday. Right. So it takes three days to do the COVID test for it to come back. And they need it to come back before they okay me to come in. So they need it back Friday. Mm -hmm. so that means I have to quarantine from tomorrow all the way through Tuesday. Oh, that sounds like it'd be so hard for because you. Because of the holiday. It sounds like it'd be hard for you. Oh, wait a minute. You'll be fine. I'll be fine. Yeah. I'll just go get groceries. You don't talk to anybody anyway. Oh, I don't talk to well, my family's having a 4th of July thing, and uh, I didn't want to go to it anyway. I was a little worried. So you're not, you're not, gonna not go going to go hang that. out with... Are you wet? <laughs> yeah. Speaking of wet, it is raining like crazy. I heard, I, heard I heard the thunder. That's nuts. Uh, oh, where's the dogs? Yeah, we got to get this. We got to get this weather taken care of. Every single, every day, every day, it's rain. Has it, Nick, is it raining? You're, you've got to be, uh, almost, I don't know if you're taking 39 or 55, no, but. It's, it's sunny and rain now. Are you on 39 or 55? Yeah, I'm taking 39. Okay. So yeah, you're. I was yeah, gonna, I'm on 39. I was gonna, I was gonna guess that you're up near Bloomington, but that, you'd have you couldn't you don't go by Bloomington on 39. So. Hmm. People are freaking out. Summer says her wind. People heard you say that. Now they're freaking out. Uh, Summer's windows are down. Who's, who's, <laughs> don't leave your don't leave your car windows down. That's shit that they do in like Pawnee. That's stuff that Nikki grew up. With. Hey. I'm I'm saying that 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 that's. That's the, sh the bullshit they do in Pawnee. Roll your damn windows up. Well, cars get really hot inside, so. Well, know. Uh, but you can get in. You can get in your car and turn the air on. It'll be fine in two minutes. 
Oh. Show a little patience. What's that? Leave the car windows down. Unbelievable. What kind of hillbillies? What kind of hillbillies are you? <laughs> Roll your window up. My, I told you, did I tell you this story before? But my mother leaving her car door unlocked? No. no. I, this is a true story. I went by my mother's house in Chatham. I went by my mother's house, and it was, I think it was last summer. And I was walking from my car to her car, right? Mm hmm. And her window was down on her car. Window was down, and I look inside, and I see her car keys in the ignition. In, in her driveway. <laughs> in her, literally in her driveway. God, why didn't she just write, steal me on the her, side? Her window was down, and her car keys were in the ignition in her car. And it was, it's literally like, steal me that's what that's what her car's like on and i was last summer <laughs> and i remember yelling at her and i go what the hell are you doing what don't yell at me don't yell at me and i'm like mom you can't you can't have your windows down and your keys in the you you just can't do that no you can't do that I actually had out here in the little podunk town I live in, I, years ago, I left my Jeep. And so I had that black Wrangler and I left it in the driveway and I had the doors locked, but I didn't have the tailgate locked. Mm -hmm. And I came out and the tailgate was open yeah. and I'm like, what the hell? Some kids were walking by and I, they saw the Jeep. I was home. They opened up the tailgate, crawled through my Jeep, and took all my CDs, took all the change out of my console. Yes. Oh, wow. Uh, oh. Yeah, because people Why are shit. The tailgate? Because people are shit, and that's the kind of shit they do. Oh yeah, I found out who did it. That's why you can't trust it. You you just can't yeah. trust people. And my mother was mad because I yelled at her. You are just looking out for her. Yes, and and the whole thing is uh, exactly. Plus, I was thinking there's no way in hell I'm gonna be the one getting her a new car if she loses. <laughs> and by the way, my mom my mom has a nice car. She used to drive a, a, a junky shit car, but she got a, a really nice car. Um, in fact, I think, I think it's when my grandmother died. I think it was my grandmother's car. It was a really nice car. And my mom's, it's now my mother's. And she's got the windows down and the, the keys in it. And I'm like, and I tell her, I go, I don't understand why you're leaving the windows down like a hillbilly. But for God's sakes, don't leave the keys in the car. <laughs> I said, at the very least, make someone work. Make them earn it. Make, make them at least for it, right? At, at least hotwire the fucking car if you're going to steal it. <laughs> Do a little bit of work. <laughs> you're leaving the keys in the ignition. That's just begging them to steal it. And she, she, she was upset, of course, because. Uh, Where's your mom live again? She lives in Chatham. <laughs> in Chatham. There's some shady stuff that goes on in Chatham. There's plenty of shady anywhere. shit that goes on in Chatham. Yeah, you're safe anywhere. I lived in Chatham. I locked my cars every freaking day. There's no time I ever left my keys in my car. My mother, leaving the, <laughs> leaving the windows down. She was uh, she was making some comments on Facebook the other day. Did you see that? Uh, she said she just needs to behave or something. I'm like, what do I need is to she do doing now? Should I order a wellness check for her? <laughs> I think you might. <laughs> I think you might because she was like putting some really crazy stuff on Facebook. I was like, Summer says uh, she guesses we just call her HBA, HBA Hillbilly Summer HBS <laughs> HBS. Roll your windows up, Summer. I, I, I just don't understand it. Especially now, there's so much rain everywhere. Yeah, I'm just pissed off because it's like we finally get to have a baseball season. Yeah. And we've got rain every day this week. We got yeah. rained out last night. Well, hell, we were rained out by 9 o'clock in the morning yesterday because yeah. of all the rain. 
the one field we were supposed to play at was underwater. And so then um, we're supposed to play tonight over in Decatur. And if this line of storms that we're getting here now hits over there, I don't know if that's going to happen either. I'm just sick of it. And I can't keep up with the damn yard. It's just, everything's a mess. There was a guy in, on Facebook yesterday who, who got, Nikki, you liked it. He got seven inches. <laughs> Why would I like it? <laughs> I'm just saying. I know you like a, when guys get a lot of rain, when they have a lot of rain. He was showing his, uh -huh. uh, his rain gauge. It had seven inches. Wow. He, he had his rain gauge whipped out? Yeah. Did he get in trouble for that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a kind of poetic. It's like a family platform, and you're, they're just whipping out their rain gauge. It was the kind of post that Nikki inches. loves. It was the kind of post those guys like, look, I got seven inches. <laughs> and it was his rain gauge. Was he holding the camera to make it look like it was nine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you like to do with the fish. Yeah. If you've oh got God, if you've hilarious. got seven inches, you don't have to hold it. Why you don't don't be an asshole. You don't have to hold it to make it look like you got nine. Stop oh. rubbing it in. Nobody likes a bragger. Holding it at the base so you get that extra two inches. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gone. Oh my God. Yeah. Don't be a dick. You, just, you know. Why rub it in? I can see, I can see the, the four and a half. I can see the guy with the four and a half inches of rain in the gauge. I can see that guy holding it that way. The guy with the seven inches. Now you're just being an asshole. Stop it. What's wrong with you people? Oh, my God. All right, our phone number here is 815-414-2100. Two five, and I'm going to turn on the phone, Nikki. Yeah, I was going to ask if you turned the phone off. No, I, I didn't, but I'm I'm just about to. Oh my gosh! I'm just about to. Um, at least I'm figuring out how to, you know, I'm trying to figure out how to get the phone system to work. So eight one five four one four. Two one, two five. By the way, listener Jamie is making comments in the chat room. <laughs> oh, you just never know. What he's As you say. can imagine, everyone, unbelievable. It is unbelievable. All right, let me get to some COVID stuff and the like and some other stuff that I have. Um, there was something. What did I want to share first? I had a. You said it was COVID related. I, I had some COVID related and some non COVID related stuff to do, some July 4th stuff. And I'm trying to find. Oh, I, here we go. I found this one interesting because it was uh, the most popular way to cook a steak Ooh, in 2020. Okay. They asked people the most popular way to grill a steak. What do you think finished number one? What was it? What should be the... Like, what? how do you like your steak prepared? I like mine medium rare. Of course. You're, you're, you're normal. Yeah. Okay. That's what I would think, too. Anybody else have any, any comments? Mine has to be well done. Oh, for heaven. What are you, an animal? Why? No pink. None? Why do you then, even, why do you even want a steak? Me out. why do you even want a steak that doesn't have it has lots of A one on it. Oh A one. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh A one. Why why not just go to the bathroom and pick out a turd? What? <laughs> <Eat that. laughs> what? To go pick out a turd. I'm just saying. Oh, why? Why would you want to ruin a steak with that A1 sauce? I just don't get it. I'll tell you what. By the way, 21% of Americans prefer their steak well, well done. They like their steaks well done. Where are these? Where Those are these? people are creeps. Yeah. Where are these people? 
you know, I think it's an old school, like, farmer thing or uh. something. I don't know, because my dad always used to have to, like, just cook the ever-loving shit out of stuff. Because he grew up in a farm, and they thought you would get worms, or you'd get trichinosis from the pork, or you would get, you know, and I, I don't know. I, I didn't like steak growing up, because my mom would just throw it in a pan and, like, fry it around a little bit, and it looked like gray flesh. And I was like, God, that's sick. And then I had someone take me to Alexander Steakhouse at once. And then and I was... And you tasted a good bowl. steak. Yep. And I'm like, you know, I don't even know what a good steak is. I'm like, you order for me. And I got a medium rare teriyaki filet. And oh my gosh, amazing. I'll tell amazing. you, I, I've always respected the steak. Do you respect the meat, Doran? Oh, absolutely. You, one absolutely. Month, you have to respect... I, res <coughs> I respect the meat. Nikki, do you respect the meat? I guess. Nick, do you respect the meat? I respect the meat. I take care of my meat. Yes. I, I grew up Whenever poor. possible. I grew up poor. So when we would get steaks, it would be something. A big deal. And yeah. my, and my, this is when I was really young, my parents, both of them, would rub it in about, we paid so much money for this steak. Da, 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 da. You better respect your, your meal. You know, it was... Uh, you, you, you it's an investment. Yes, you weren't getting steak for all your the tummy. Time. We weren't getting steak all the time. We had to respect it. There's a certain way you have to have your meat. The correct answer is medium rare to medium. Okay. That is the correct. The correct. I mean, this poll says it's well done, which I find disgusting. Oh, it's correct in your eyes. I'm saying, and and. Uh, Actually, uh, it is medium rare or medium. That's the best way to get a steak. I'll tell you, somebody in our chat room, mm -hmm. you, uh, you know PD is in the chat room? You won't believe how he likes his steak. It's, oh. Oh, it's fucking in, uh, it, it's insane. I've gone to Alexander's with him. Mm -hmm. and we went, uh, the first time was in Peoria. And uh, so, and I used to cook everybody's steaks, and Pete's like, I'll cook my own. <laughs> I'm like, all right. And he goes to cook his steak, right? So he goes, and we go to pick out the meat, because you go to the freezer, or you go to the refrigerator, and right. you, pick out, the meat. you pick out your own cut. So he mm -hmm. picks out a great cut of meat. Great cut of meat. And I pick out my meat for my, myself, my wife, whoever was with us. Like, I don't remember the time. Um, I think it, I, Pete might have brought a date, and I think I cooked her steak, but he cooked his own. So I take the meat and I lay the meat on the grill, right? Mm hmm. And I'm like, there we go. And I start, so I know how long it's going to be before I flip it, you know, put a little butter on it, start doing all my process. Meanwhile, he takes his steak, he puts it down. <sighs> Picks it back up again and flips it over. He picks it back up again. I'm thinking, I'm thinking to myself, boy, this, he's flipping that steak a lot. And then he grabs a plate. Oh, and I'm he like, eats it blue. I'm like, what the hell is he doing with, why is, why is he got a plate? For? And he's putting it on the plate. Yeah, he eats it blue. And he's like, I'm done. Yeah, that's not even rare. And that's I'm just like, I'm like, what in the hell? I mean, it, it was cold. There was oh, no yeah. way it wasn't cold. That's how the guy eats a steak. Yeah. I, uh, I went on a date with someone one time that got the great big, I don't know what the great big cut is there. Same I'm thing. I'm getting worms just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, that's how, he's in the chat room. Ask him. That's how he eats a steak. The guy, the guy literally cooks it for like, like if, if, if 30 seconds is probably too much, but I'm trying, <laughs> I, I, I'm trying not to exaggerate, but he literally puts it on the grill and it's like, it starts to grill and then he flips it immediately oh, and wow. does the same thing to that. And then he takes it with him and he's done. 
And he had like a quarter inch of blood in the bottom of his plate when he was dead eating. And his he steak could potato have, was pink. He could have <laughs> cooked. He could have cooked seven steaks oh. in the time it took for me to cook my steak. Oh my gosh. It's I crazy. It just like raw meat. I have a girlfriend. She, she used to w roll up hamburger, like it was, raw hamburger meat, and just roll it in salt and pepper and eat it. It's crazy. <gasps> I mm -hmm. just don't. My grandmother would do that too, Doran. It, it's disgusting. Yeah. And I thought yeah. that was a Mexican thing. <laughs> no. no, it was just a weirdo thing. It was, <laughs> if I, as, I, as I think back to when we went to, and then throughout years, I have gone to dinner with Petey. Uh, every year on my birthday, he used to come down, no matter, no matter where we lived. Uh, he went out when we lived in New York. He went out to see us in New York. Uh, when we lived in Springfield, he'd come down from Bloomington to Springfield. And he would always take us out to dinner. We'd always go to like an Alexander's type place. And eventually he would say, I'll cook my own. And so I would put the steaks on and literally he would wait because the first time, you know what I mean? He was, he was eating while the rest of our meat was cooking. So he would wait and he would grab it right when I was about to take the meat off. He was going to pick his selection to throw it on the grill. I'm, I cannot stress this guy's steak was it wasn't even cooked. Uh, I mean, it was hardly, it was hardly changing any color on the outside at all. That's how he ate. Um, that's how he ate his steak and he loved it. The guy's a big eater. He loves steak. That's just how he eats it. Just likes it pretty much raw. <laughs> yeah. Which I never understand, but I'm not judging. Yeah, that's actually like, because there's, you know, well done, medium, medium rare, and then rare. I'm silent, and then too. Uh, good morning. You're on WMA. Are you on, excuse me. You're on the morning disaster. <laughs> you're on the morning disaster. You're on what? I don't know what's wrong. What? Don't he, doesn't, he doesn't have a clue what he's on anymore. What's going on? <laughs> what's up, brother? I love, uh, you know, I love the good meat. My my plate should look like a crime scene while I'm eating it. <laughs> it's Petey. Oh, oh, it Petey. is. Was I correct in how I was describing how you would cook your steak? Yeah, you know, it, it, yeah, it got to the point where, you know, Ray's like, where's your steak at? I'm like, it's still in the cooler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up, I'm up there drinking, drinking, drinking beer and, and making toast and stuff like that. And he's cooking, he's off cooking, and he's like, "Where's your steak?" And I'm like, "Oh, I got time." It is, <laughs> you guys. It's insane. Yeah. It's insane. No, it's perfect. Uh, it's it's like two, it takes him less than two minutes to cook a steak. It's it's crazy. Uh, two two and a half, something like that. I, 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 I just, Did you put any seasoning or anything on it? Do you put any salt and pepper? Do you use any salt? Oh hell! Why would you season something like that? <laughs> I'm just asking. <laughs> I didn't know. Why? The, why do you? Why do you ruin this? You you shouldn't certainly won't, don't want to put any goddamn a one sauce or for God's sake oh, ketchup. Yeah. Right, and, and like Nikki, you don't want to ruin this steak putting a one on it like Nikki does. I like a little bit of, of, of garlic and some cracked pepper on mine. Yeah, I, I like a little salt. I like salt and pepper. Some some I'll, put a, I'll, put a, I'll put a little salt on it sometimes. Yeah, maybe some uh, blue cheese. A little bit of blue cheese, maybe. Oh, well, no, no, no. <laughs> well, you, you, drizzle the, you drizzle the butter over it, though, to get the flame higher they, it's just so that it doesn't take as long. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. I'm telling you, it's, it's <laughs> you guys, it's crazy. You... It's not crazy. You've got to see this man cook a steak. It is unbelievable. My brother Bodine's not that much different. Bodine likes a, likes a blue steak too, but I he cooks his more than Pete does. I've had I've had I've had waitresses uh, you know argue. Well, our steaks come pretty rare. I'm, I I ask, is it in the kitchen now? <laughs> She's like, well, yeah. I'm like, well, it's almost done. <laughs> unbelievable. I, I get I just don't get it. I don't understand. I cannot understand these people that like it well done. Oh no, that that's that's insane. That's crazy. That's insane. Let me ask you, Pete. I have a girl in my neighborhood that she's originally from Texas and we had a, a cookout one time and someone asked her how she liked her steak and she said, Rip it torn off, wipe his ass and put it on a plate. 
in the in the chat room, TJ said something. I, I said that you know a good vet could probably save the cow. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow! Oh my god! Hey, let me ask you, what's your favorite side? Uh, well, the garlic toast at at, at uh, those places, and, and a baked potato. A baked potato, number one. Number one uh, was gar was a uh, baked potato. Yeah, there's nothing like a good steak and a baked potato. But I'll tell you something else. Sweet corn. Oh. I love good sweet corn. Sweet corn. With a steak and a baked potato. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Of course, Nikki. No. Nikki likes her steak. It's got to taste like a brick and sm smothered in A1 sauce. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you why don't you just get a hamburger and put and put a bunch of A one sauce on it at that point? I mean, I do that too. Do you do you do you eat the Kingsford straight out of the bag? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god! I just don't get it. I... See, but you don't get either of us, and then uh, you know. Well, I would, but I gotta be honest. I would, I would eat your steak before I'd eat Nikki's. I'd at least try yours. Oh, wow! I would, I would try Pete's uncooked steak before I would try that mess that you eat. I mean, it tastes like a I shingle. had, I had somebody at breakfast one time when we were at some point, you know, most places two o'clock in the morning type thing, and I ordered steak and eggs. And when I put, and it was a buddy I hadn't seen in a while, and he's over at my table talking to me. He, he was there with a different crew. And as soon as I put the knife to the steak, he saw the way it moved. He's like, oh, I can't wash this. <laughs> well, I mean, because it is, it's, wow. it's the color of, I'm just saying eating next to you all these years. It's the color of uh, just like it is in a refrigerator. I mean, that's the color of the steak, the inside well, of the steak. The outside isn't. The outside is, yeah, the outside has uh, has changed color a little bit. The inside has not changed color. Why should it? It's got to be cold. Yeah, well, cool to the touch, but uh, a good steak should be at room temperature before it ever hits a grill. This is true. And it should never have been frozen, ever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with you. I, I don't eat frozen meat, but... I'm just, uh, Petey, I've always, I've loved, I love going to dinner with you, but I'm always uh, disgusted by <laughs> um, how you cook that steak. A little rough to watch yeah. I had to call and protect myself anyway. It's good to talk to you, brother. <laughs> how are things, in, how are things in Georgia? Hey, good. Um, we're, we're on the, uh, on the naughty list from several states now oh, that, boy. If somebody from Georgia visits, like New York, they have to quarantine for two weeks. Wear a mask. Tell yeah. them. Tell yeah. them. When, they I, need to when wear I go mask. out, I, I I I wear mine, and and yeah, there are people here who oh, it's it's against my it's it's against my rights. It's, I'm a, I'm an American. Well, you can I'm be like, an American and still wear a mask. But, and by the way, you don't have to wear a mask when driving or when sitting in your own house. You don't have to wear a mask. You only have to wear a mask when you're out in public around people. That's right. Yeah, but about the only time I'm out in public is at a grocery store, and when I, I always wear it there, and I and I wear it when I go to play pool. But I'm in a bar. I gotta have uh, you know. You're gonna be drinking. You're gonna be eating. You're gonna be doing those things. It's hard to wear a mask when you do that. Well, yeah, I'll, yeah you can't be playing pool with a mask on, right? And it's very. It, you can do it. It's difficult. <laughs> You got to socially distance from people. Yeah. I like how Pete's but like, I'll be damned. I'm not giving up my pool. <laughs> Fuck it. Well, I, I, I am, I am, you know, and there was, there are some people who, who wanted to be there the whole time. I'm like, no, dude, I'm fine. I'll, I'll stay home for a while. Yeah. Um, but uh, there's also some people that, 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 oh, I can't go back. And, and I understand, I understand all that. I, but there's also people making fun of them. And I'm like, shut up. Yeah. But for me, it was, it's, you know, I, I keep my distance as much as possible. Um, I, I take care of my own um, hygiene, washing that, washing the hands, keeping keeping things clean around me. You have a, you um, take a little sanitizer with you, uh, you know. I 
We have hand sanitizer. The 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 pool hall put up hand sanitizer uh, station. That's nice. Um, That's nice. But but yeah, you know, you can only social distance so much. If you're playing against somebody, um, they're touching the same table that you are. They're 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 uh, you know, if with ball in hand, they're taking taking a hold of the same cue ball that I am. You know. <laughs> so just don't play. Just don't so, play with dirty people. Yeah, yeah. You watch them, and and, and it was they, the the place had opened a couple of weeks, you know, a few weeks uh, before we actually went back to our leagues. And I'd go in there in the middle of the day to practice, and they were they were doing all sorts of stuff, making making sure everything was clean. But there'd be people I didn't know coming. Like, you want to play? No, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> So Every one thing was a friend that walks up, but but uh, somebody I didn't know. No, 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 no. Yeah, you're good, right over there. <laughs> it is. It is good to talk to you, buddy. Be safe down there, in Georgia. Right, man. Take care, man. Bye. Ah, uh, I can't believe. I just. Can you believe that that's how he eats his steak? I just. Blue. It's just shocking. gray on the outside and just warm. But I'm serious. I'd rather eat it like his than what Nikki's talking about. No, you're what killing all the flavor. Why not? Yeah, just oh. go, just grab a shingle off your roof. <laughs> Smother it with A1 sauce. I, I question, I question that there's bodies under your house if you do it both sides, <laughs> either oh char or blue that you that you keep that you keep bodies under your house. Oh my god! I live in an apartment, but okay. My my brother Goose is the same way. He likes it well done. And he's come over to my house before, and we're grilling steaks, and I'm like, um, he says, I, li I like it well done. I'm like, well. I wonder what his reasoning is for that. I don't know. I can't, I can't cook a steak well done. I just can't. I'm not going to cook a steak for you uh, if it's well done. That's just ridiculous. It's nonsense. It's <laughs> going to get all – you can't even chew it. It's, it's going to be so hard. Are you rock hard? I know that's how Nikki likes things, but when you say, are you rock hard, you should not be talking about your steak. The steak's got to be medium rare no to pink. medium. Yeah, it's got to be, there's got to be a little, a little pink. No. It's got to be nice, flavorful. You don't need a yeah, yeah, I think you kind of, you got to have a little bit of that. You have to have a little ribbon of fat in it, not too much, because I don't like fat. And it's got to be it's got to be a little pink or just the flavor's gone. Listen, let me tell you something. Uh -uh. Doran, if you ever tried the fat, you won't be going back. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, Lord. Once, I'm talking about steak Once you here. have fat, oh, you don't go man. back. I just I'm no. shocked. It was by the way, it's not a this is a Fox News thing. Uh so I well, that, Yeah. 21% of people say that they prefer well done steaks, according to Fox News. Those people like Donald Trump too. So, um, uh, let's see. Uh, people say uh, that steak tastes best on the grill than it does in a pan or in a smoker. All oh, one hundred percent. Oh yeah. Does anybody like a pan fried? I mean, a pan fried steak mm -mm, is that's awful. That's why I wouldn't eat steak. I wouldn't eat it because that's the only way we ha I had it growing up, and I was disgusted. However, um, I have I've had it cooked in a uh, a skillet before. With proper seasonings, and it's not that bad. Well, if you sear it, if you put it in a really hot skillet at first and sear it both sides, that kind of locks And you put in. a little rosemary or whatever. And, and uh, then take it yeah, off of the butter. hot heat yeah. and then slowly cook it and watch and let it rest. Letting the meat rest before you eat it is pretty important. That's not bad. I, I, yeah. I, I have had that before. That's not bad. But most, per most people prefer it on the grill than anywhere else. Um, what is the favorite cut of meat? Nick, what's your favorite cut of meat? Is Nick still here? No. It's, e it's either a ribeye or a New York strip. Really? Yeah. Doran, yep. what's your favorite cut of meat? Mine? Yeah. Uh, filet. Uh, Nikki? Or, yeah, a filet or a ribeye. Nikki likes the hamburger. What, what do you got? What's your favorite? Uh, what's your favorite cut, Nikki? Uh, ribeye or sirloin. Oh. Ooh, sirloin's good, too. I don't like my answer. When, <laughs> I was, when I was a kid, a sirloin, the cheapest of steaks. That's what mm -hmm. we would get. So I don't eat sirloins. Now that I'm an, now that I'm an adult, <laughs> and I'm 
and I buy my own steaks instead of at the mercy of my surroundings, I actually buy a steak like a, a porterhouse. Mm. Yeah. That's yeah, the say. porterhouse. Yeah. Or a ribeye. Those would be my favorite. Mmm. Big, thick porterhouse. Woo! I love those Dollar Tree ribeyes. <laughs> what? Dollar Tree What are you talking about? Go to a Dollar Tree. Next time you're at a Dollar Tree, go to their freezer section and check out them ribeyes that they got. They'll have like eight you're in a package. Kidding me. They'll have like eight in a package, right? Yeah, for a buck. They have <laughs> frozen food in Dollar Tree? Yeah. What the? At some of them, they do. What the hell? Uh, what the hell they come from? Roadkill? <laughs> <laughs> they probably do. I don't ask where my food comes from. I just eat it. Listen, if you're gonna, if you gotta buy a steak, it's gotta hurt. Okay. In all seriousness, st- you've got to look at the steak and go, "Whoo, God!" If you want a good steak, it's got to be a steak that you pick up, and you look at the you price. To, you look at the you price. Have you have to contemplate go, your budget. Yeah, you look at the you look at the price and you go, "Oh, this is gonna hurt, but it'll be so worth it." It's got to. I mean, if you want a good steak, that's what it's got to be. It's got to be like, "Ooh." What am I going to have to if cut? I'm, what will I have to cut out this week for us to have steak? If I'm going to eat a steak tonight, I'm going to have to eat spam tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling that, that's what that's what having a steak should be. Yeah. It should be an event. Yeah, it, should, it, it should be. And then it cooked to perfection. Mm-hmm. Ooh. I'll tell you. I'm getting all juiced up now just thinking about it. I think it's mm. very, very important to know how to cook a steak, how to grill a steak. My wife, my wife grills now, and she's really good. I love to cook on the grill. I love it. She's really good. I'm too fat and lazy to grill, but she's fantastic at it. <laughs> oh, I just love it. Mm. Give me a good steak. Hey, by the way, I so went to work. You- I went to work out yesterday. Yeah. And I wore a mask. We got we got masks from Corey. Mm-hmm. From Core Insulation. Uh, furniture and supply um i got one of those masks you guys the perfect mask really yeah it's just it's the the blue you know the little blue masks right, right. Uh, the insta whatever they are um they are dis- disposable masks mm-hmm. you get a few you get a couple of a couple of few wears out of it and you throw in the garbage but it was so nice because i've been working out in the same mask for uh about two weeks. And here's something I realized. I don't have the most pleasant breath. <laughs> you start to realize it with your mask. You realize yeah. it after like the first or second wear. Mm-hmm. You start to get some of that back, you know. <laughs> Ever burp in your mask so bad that you pass out? <laughs> oh, <laughs> So I got I got masks from Corey. That's awesome. Awesome. You guys, and those are those blue ones that you're talking about. Yeah. They're lightweight and they're easy to breathe. Yeah, through. they're really. So like wearing those to work out would be because that's the kind of way I have to wear at the salon <laughs> because I with blow drying and coughing a yeah. lot. I can't. Uh, I can't handle the. And I, I hear people all the time saying, oh, "I can't breathe in my mask." Well, what the hell are you wearing for a mask? <laughs> what do you mean you can't breathe? <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> They've made something out of their Afghan. Yeah, you're, yes. you're just making shit up. When they say that, they're just making shit up. You can breathe through a mask. Yeah, you can. Uh, unless you're trying to use something else as a mask that you're not supposed to be using. But don't use a plastic bag, you dipshit. Use a, a regular mask. <laughs> so, but but I like I said, well, I got mine. So, from some Corey. people need to use a plastic bag. I got mine from Corey. And you guys could too. Uh, you could also get chairs, desk, whatever you need. Uh, <laughs> A core installation, furniture and supply, uh, 741-1079 is the phone number. And, and my might as well do all the commercials for our sponsors of the show. Recontex, a proof is in the performance. Recon, the corner of Ninth and Black. They will, I know it's raining now, but they will de- detail your car and get it looking so clean and so good. I got to get mine detailed again. 
It's getting dirty, Doran. My car is getting. Uh, is it getting really dirty? Yeah, because I'm just throwing stuff on the floor of the car. I'm like Sean Boleyn. I should. I shouldn't do this. <laughs> I am. I'm, Stop it. I can't. I bet there's 30 receipts in my car. You need to hang on to those. Yeah, but like my daughter wants, you know, she wants a. Can I get a a latte from McDonald's or you know it's bullshit like that. It's not receipts for like major purchases. Oh, it's all fast gotcha. food and bullshit like that. I want to get a couple donuts. Oh, here's a receipt. It all ends up on my floor. Mm -hmm. So uh, I've got to stop that. You got a lot of clutter in there. Yeah. How many shirts do you have in there currently? Just About three. I know my hoodie's in there. Okay. Because I was going to wear my hoodie today and I went, where's my hoodie? And I thought about it. I was like, oh shit, it's in my car. I got my hoodie. <laughs> I've got, oh, I got a sweat jacket in there. Does that count? Okay. That counts. Right. And then I have a t-shirt. So I got three shirts in my car. I've got like 30 receipts on the floor. And then um, I stepped in. So I don't know what I stepped in, but it's it's on the carpet. <laughs> you, know, no. you know a little carpet that goes underneath your pedals? Yeah, the I've floor got, mat. Yeah, I don't, I don't <laughs> yeah, the floor mat. That's probably soup. I don't know what I stepped <laughs> Is it poop? I don't know what I stepped in, but it's on the floor mat of my car. <laughs> Needless to say, yeah, in poop. it's it never poop. it's never gonna I come. It's poop. <laughs> if, it's left, <laughs> if it's left up to me, it will never come off. That's Definitely all I want. Yeah, it's not the bar, it is poop. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know what it is. Is it usually poop? Uh, are you guys saying that's always poop when that's uh, when that's the case? Nine times out of ten, it's going to be poop. <laughs> ah, crap. Hmm. I want to call. Let me. Wonder if it, I'll I'll leave Colder. Uh, 670, 11.32. We'll call Derek over at Recon Techs. And I'll ask. It doesn't seem to smell bad or anything. Recon Techs, Springfield. Hey, is this Derek? This is Mike. Oh, it's Mike. Mike, let me ask you. This is Ray. Let me ask you yeah. something. I stepped in something. And uh, you know the, the little carpet underneath the pedals? Yeah. The uh, What did you call it? Door in the pad? Uh, I think the floor it's gone. The floor, oh, the floor mat. Okay. Yeah, the floor mat. Okay. So I stepped in something, and uh, now it's on the floor mat. And everybody on the show is saying that that's poop. Okay. Pretty much. I'm just I'm asking you, Michael, because you guys detail cars. It's not an egg McMuffin. It's going to be poop. <laughs> I just want to ask you guys. In your experience, is that always poop? Or, or... There's, there's a lot of times it is, yes. <laughs> oh. So the most likely explanation is <laughs> it's poop? Yep. If it stinks, yeah. it's poop. Well, I, I'm saying it doesn't stink. I don't think it stinks. I then just, it could it could very well be mud. I, yeah, I think it could be mud. I just want to say that, Nikki, and everybody immediately jumping to poop. It could be. I just want <laughs> yeah, to, Michael. Uh, I just wanted to get your experience. Oh, okay. By the way, in the chat room, they're saying recontext. Happy to clean your car, your sex toys. Or, yes, sir. <laughs> or dirty, or dirty hillbillies, according to the phone calls. They're claiming I only call you for nonsense. Uh, to ask, <laughs> well, it just so happens that Michael answers the phone. It's not, it's not the only time I call guys. It's just when Michael, no, not at all. When Michael answers the phone, it's always a bizarre question. Uh, it just, it's the timing. It's because Derek isn't there to answer the phone. I just call Michael. Uh, well, I, so you're saying. More than likely poop, however, it could just be mud. 
And I'm telling Correct. you, but Michael doesn't stink. I don't smell anything. Well, it might be mud. Yeah, it could be mud. All right. I don't think it is. Well, thank you, but Hey, how many? I don't think so either. How many weeks out are you guys for details? Or are people getting right in? Um, well, right now we're scheduling as early as the 13th. All right. So, so right now we're two weeks out. All right, guys. Call Recon Tech 670-1132. I'm going to talk to you, my friend. Thank you. You too. And also DTE Technologies, 408-0001. That's DTE Technologies. Let DTE be your IT guy. <laughs> Jamie, Jamie, it's not Doran's P in my car. <laughs> no one is, no one's P in my car. I've not peed in his car. I mean, except not, me. Not, not recently. <laughs> Other than me. I mean, I'm the only one that has peed in my, you know, oh. in my. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki, I just looked at the chat room. Are you yelling at Sean Boleyn in the chat room? He always shows up when the show's getting ready to be done. Always. Were you, you left the show the other day. Doran, you were at work, but. Yeah, we both left. There was a show the other day. Where... You had a completely other show after our show. <laughs> Did you really? Yes. Sean called in. And uh, this was, I think this was, when, Nick, you were gone, right? I think this is when he was gone. Yeah, well, yeah, I think it was that Friday. Yeah. But I think Jason was on for Nick. And then Nikki was on, and Sean called in right near the end of the show. Unbelievable. And, um, and so Nikki goes, she goes, oh, fuck this. <laughs> she just leaves. Because <laughs> it was like 9.38 or whatever. At 9.38, I have things to do. she goes, oh, just fuck it. And she just leaves. And Sean, literally, Sean and I stayed on for like another I think we stayed out for like another hour or something. What? I was you kidding. Sean and I cleared. Can you imagine the... that? Well, we God, had no. to clear the air about the sloppy vagina. <laughs> See, that should be a should have been a Patreon show. You're right. Pay for. You're right, and that's what uh, Chris, you know, the guy <laughs> from uh, uh, from not even the not even a show. That's what they do. Is they do so many shows for free, and then they offer up exclusive shows but people have to buy a subscription because we were on the subscriber show uh from not even a show l last week the patreon show okay and we were we were a hit so the patreon people love when we get on that show i guess and uh which is nice um but now i'm i'd like to see it and so I'm going to have to pay something just to watch, you know, just to oh, watch great. it. You know what I mean? But I was thinking maybe that's something we should do. I don't know if anybody would pay, but uh, it's something to think about. But you're right. Sean stayed on, and we cleared the air about the whole, uh, you know, sloppy vagina and comment. Pe people will pay for those kinds of shows where you're airing grievances and clearing out the air because they want people want to know the dirt. It was good. And it ended up with, you know, Sean wasn't mad at the end. I don't think he was ever mad. But by the time it was all over, he was no longer angry. So, Doran, in case you're wondering, that that's what finally. Because mm -hmm. I know you were gone, but you had, you weren't like Nikki. You didn't say, oh, fuck this and just leave. <laughs> you actually. You expecting so much. <laughs> you, uh, you actually left your normal time. Nikki waited until Sean was on. <laughs> and then she ditched. And then she ditched, yeah. And I'm about ready to ditch now because I got to go to my... Oh, um, you are something. Else. It's 9.30. My iron infusion. We're literally... Oh, you got to get your iron infusion today? All right. Yeah, every Wednesday. Rick, Nikki's getting a rectal... Uh, her fecal, <laughs> fecal transplant. Uh, sure, that's not it. I have to go do the hair. All so. right, well, both of you guys leave. Nick, Nick and I will finish it up. He's driving. All right, all right. You guys have a good day. Uh, Take care. I got to pay attention to the road. Yeah. Nick Nick can't leave because he has to watch. He's driving his whole family. Are you 
are you uh, in Rockford yet? Oh, well, I'm already in Wisconsin. You're in Wisconsin already? Yeah, we left at like 6 this morning. Oh, oh, I didn't realize that. So, oh, I thought you left right when the show started. No. So it's it's what like a, it's like a I've driven there before Minneapolis. It's like is a six. It's like a six seven hour drive. Yeah, it's like I say it's like six or seven hours to get there. Hmm. And how long are you staying? Uh, till Monday. And you'll you're gonna go to a hotel? Or are you staying in your sister's house? We got a we got an Airbnb. Oh, look, aren't you fancy? So oh, you're it's much cheaper to get in a hotel. Uh, is it close to your sister's house? Yeah, it's within the vicinity. So it's some poor person that <laughs> some poor person that lives near your sister has to rent their house out to strangers for money to support their crack habit. Uh, it is COVID clean and everything, right? Yeah. All right. Talking about security of your family. And uh, what is the what do they have? What are these uh, what are these special things about this Airbnb? It's just a regular house. It's not There's a, really nothing too special on it. It's not a pool or anything, you know what I mean? No, uh, no, nothing nothing fancy like that. Do you pay more if you go stay at a house? What? Yeah, probably people would charge more for something like that. All right. All right. It sounds like somebody's playing a bassoon in, in the background. Um, well, I, now I'm in construction area, oh. so. Well, listen, maybe I will let you go because it sounds like. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right, we'll go back tomorrow. <laughs> Nick, I'll talk to you later. Uh, drive safe, and then we'll wrap the show up, everybody. That's going to be it for today. I want to thank everybody for listening. Uh, Goodbye. It's, uh, thank you. It's Ray Lytle's morning disaster coming to an end on a Wednesday show. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Better wake up, sleepy and get your fat butt out of bed. There's a man who got up at 4 a.m. just to play you Zeppelin and Pearl Jam. Raymond Lido is his name. Some have called him just a bit insane. But you may find him a little idiotic. But his is the only morning show you can say is really got it. Slam the door, turn the key, get on the road. I now. haven't driven an Uber car in three years, Brent. It's nasty, it's dirty, but it's funny, cause it's the Raymond Lytle's morning disaster. He's lewd, he's rude, he's crude, but it doesn't matter, cause he's the morning master of rock and roll and laughter. Raymond Lytle's morning disaster. John Blin Scott, nerves and sores, Bodine's running down North Grand in his undershorts. Michelle will dwell on things colored pink and purple. They'll explain why Jim made a remake of that movie called The Black Hole. Slam the door, turn the key, get on the road now. The Central Illinois morning way to get down. It's nasty, it's dirty, but it's funny. Cause it's the Raymond Lyle's morning disaster. He's lewd, he's rude, he's crude, but it doesn't matter. Cause he's the morning master of... Rock and roll and laughter, Raymond Lotto's morning disaster. Thank you so much for listening, everybody. We'll be back tomorrow with another show starting at 8 o'clock. Thank you so much. If you are listening, 
uh, to the live audio feed. The replay will start for you literally in, uh, in just a couple of seconds. If you're watching the show on Facebook, that replay will start as soon as Facebook, as soon as Facebook damn well decides it'll start. And that's how that works. All right. Thank you so much for listening. And I invite you to come back and check us out again tomorrow for another edition of the program. So long, everybody. <laughs> oh, I got to play that again. <laughs> oh, no, no you don't. You played it enough. Just, everybody listen. Try to be quiet. Listen. Good morning. Hello. Um, yes. I just wanted to tell Jennifer Tiger from him to put it in his rear like a